What is going on lads and welcome to a video where I'm going to be showing you some starter squads that you can build on FIFA 15. I was ideally actually going to build these on the web app and show them to you guys properly but because the web app has been delayed and stuff like that what I'm instead going to do is show you four squads maybe give you guys some inspiration of what squad you want to build and pick up. I was struggling to kind of design ones at first and I ended up making six so I'm going to show you four in this video that you guys can take a look at maybe get some inspiration from maybe pick up some other players. All of them are basically really cheap players there's a couple of expensive players in a couple of the squads that maybe if you get someone decent in a pack or you want to blow all of your coins on one big play, you can pop in. But most of them are non-rare squads, really cheap squads, and just really people who look like they're going to be really overpowered and really good players for the rating that they are. So like I said, we are just going to go through and take a look at them. There's not going to be any fancy editing and stuff like that. Like I said, I did actually want to show you these with these built but unfortunately the web app has been delayed. Maybe the AI access might be out today, but for now we're just gonna take a look at the first of these squads. You can see here, it is a hybrid between Palacio and Zarate. The reason I've chosen these two is they are the non-rare strikers with the highest attacker rating on the whole of Footed. So you can see 85 pace, 84 dribbling, and 82 shooting for Palacio, and 82 pace, 83 dribbling, and 79 shooting for Zarate. They are two extremely good players, and they also link together nicely because they are Argentinian. I've got a nice strong link to Palacio with this Perea guy who looks absolutely awesome 82 pace 79 dribbling is why i picked him up and he's also got 77 passing to be playing the passes into the strikers as well gaitan on the left salvio on the right with that 88 pace they've got this perez guy who looks like a very good player he comes as a center mid but he probably will get full chemistry with a manager anyway because of the perfect link to salvio but just that 80 pace 74 defending all of his stats are above 80 and he's only an 80 rated player high defensive work rate he's going to be nice and easy to pick up got caisamero there center defensive mid gone to porto now so he was at real madrid he's actually got a downgrade as well but he still looks like a very good player our slowest centre-back is Martin Zindi, but he has got a high defensive work rate, which is why I popped him in the team. We have got David Luiz, who, like I said, occasionally these teams are going to have one expensive player, and David Luiz might cost like 10 or 15k. But if you get someone decent in your starter packs, you can sell him and buy David Luiz to use for this squad, because he's not going to be as expensive as he was last year, because he's not in the BPL, but he's still going to be pretty expensive, because he's still going to be absolutely ridiculous. Nice perfect link to him with Marquinhos, again, non-rare, going to be nice and cheap. And Julio Cesar in goal. If you don't want to pick up a rare goalkeeper, there's plenty of non-rare ones. Non-rare Brazilians that in the Portuguese league all it needs to be is a Brazilian Portuguese league goalkeeper and there is quite a few to choose from so that is the first squad I really like it it's a nice mix between the Serie A Argentina the Portuguese league the French league Netherlands, Brazilian, there's loads of different players in there. So it's a nice little mix and it's about as hybrid as you can get on FIFA 15. And if you guys do enjoy these squads, are you going to use them or anything like that, or you just enjoy this video, please do drop a like on it, lads. 500 would be absolutely awesome if we could get to that. And make sure you subscribe if you are new to my channel as well. But let's move on and take a look at the second squad I have designed. Like I said, I've actually designed six of these, but... I'm only going to show you guys four, and then I will bring you four actual proper squad builders when I have built them as well. But I thought I would show you these just to give you some ideas. And the second one is this non-rare BPL one. So not quite as creative. You guys probably could have designed this yourself. So I'm just going to go through it really, really quickly. We've got Shane Long and Kone up front, basically just for the pace. Sessegnon, now non-rare, but always an absolutely awesome player on FIFA. Varela, transferred over to West Brom. Absolutely quality midfielder. Look at that, 83 pace, 80 dribbling, and medium, medium work rates. Makes him a brilliant left midfielder. Bojan on the other side, slightly more suited to right wing. I think he comes as a default right wing. He's got medium low work rates, but still going to be a very good non-rare right mid. Raphael at right back. We've got Corker at centre back and now a non-rare gold. Kabul is also a non-rare gold now. He is going to be absolutely unreal. James McCarthy, one of the highest total stats for any non-rare player on this game, is going to be absolutely incredible. Luke Shaw over on the side. Probably could be a little bit faster, but 82 pace is still decent. And then to finish off, we've got Michel Vorm in goal, who is actually one of the better goalkeepers in the BPL as well, and it's nice that he is non-rare too. So let's move on and take a look at my third squad for you guys to get some inspiration on and see whether you want to pick up these players. And it is this mix between the Bundesliga and the Serie A. The reason I built this squad is, of course, to get the link between Ramos and I, Barbo. They both link up nicely together because they are both Colombian. And then I've built a respective league on either side of the 4 triple two around both of them. We do actually get a couple of nice links to it as well, with Barami and Inla linking together nicely. And they look like two very good centre defensive mids. Inla, both the same rated. Inla is rare, so it'll cost you a little bit more, but they're both probably going to be reasonably cheap and probably around discard value. You might be looking at slightly more coins to pick up Ibarbo just because of the hype around him. Maybe Mertens as well might cost you a couple of thousand, but he looks like an absolutely brilliant camp, especially for 4 triple two where they play in the wide positions, run down the line with that 88 pace and cross it into Ramos or Ibarbo. 
We have got this Jojic guy. I'm not too sure how it's pronounced his Serbian name, but he again looks very good and nice and cheap. Rodriguez is actually one of the best right backs in the Bundesliga, excluding Alaba, and he's only 80 rated and he's going to be probably awesome and nice and cheap too. Top rack, non rare, absolutely epic player, as everybody knows from all of the FIFAs. Leno getting a nice link to top rack, and then we've got Castan and Mikon with their hyperlink to fill in the chemistry there. Castan looks absolutely incredible. 84 defense and 81 physical, 71 pace and a high defensive work rate. He is going to be one of the best centre-backs on this game. And the hyperlink to Mikon only makes it even better. So again, that squad looking absolutely awesome. I built this one again like I did with the first one for the strike force. It looks absolutely brilliant. And if you want something a little bit different, rather than building just a non-rare BPL one, then that is something you can go for. Or you could go for this next squad, which is even more different. Because how many of you have ever thought of building a Cameroon squad on FIFA? I know I personally haven't, but I was looking for some epic non-rare players. And I came across Abubakar, and then I came across Song, and then I came across Nkulu, and I came across this Nyom guy. And then when I looked into Cameroon, I found Bedin Bedimo, and I found Matip, and I found that this squad and these players are just absolutely incredible. Look at them centre-backs, 74 pace and 79 pace. High defensive work rate on Matip as well. This guy's got a high defensive work rate at left-back, this Bedemo guy. And 82 pace, he looks absolutely incredible. 84 physical as well. The right-back is non-rare with 80 pace, 84 physical and 75 defending. Again, looking absolutely brilliant. This guy up here is 91 rated. He looks absolutely incredible. He is, of course, only 69 rated, but 91 pace is absolutely epic. Abubakar looks like one of the best non-rare strikers. Even this Weibo guy looks really, really good. The only players you really have to fill in is this Maikun guy who doesn't look amazing. But apart from his shooting and his pace, most of his stats are basically 70s, which isn't too bad. So you could probably get away with using him. This Chop Chupo Motting guy isn't particularly amazing as well, only 78 pace, but he does have decent dribbling and shooting. So maybe he will end up being a nice little non rare player. And the goalkeeper, if it wasn't for his 65 position, would probably be a gold as well 81, dive, 81 reflexes and 80 diving. So maybe you guys want to build yourself a Cameroon team. Maybe you can find a way to pop some of these epic Cameroon players in one squad and swap out the few players that I had to kind of put in there just to make up the numbers. Let me know if you can do that. But again, a little bit of inspiration for you guys. Maybe pick up some of these guys. Song, Abubakar, the defenders look absolutely incredible and see what you can work around with them. But that is where we're going to leave this video. Like I said, the web app should be out today. It was, of course, delayed. It was meant to be out yesterday. So if it is, I will bring you guys my starter packs. And as soon as I've got some coins and I can build the squads, I will show you guys my other two, which are actually my favorite starter squads. So maybe stick around and see what you get. So make sure you stick around and see what I build there because they are two absolutely epic squads. But that is where we're going to leave it, lads. Like I said, make sure you subscribe if you are new. Stick around and see them squads. 500 likes would be absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching, lads, and I will see you next time.